For those who are among the 900 with news media or promotional tickets, this sneak preview probably will be the only chance to see The Empire Strikes Back without standing in line. When it opens at the Pacific Cinerama Wednesday night, we're expected at the five-a-day showings for weeks. The admission, $4 for adults, $2 for kids. Among tonight's moviegoers was a high school newspaper critic who dressed just for the occasion. He's evil. I love it. I love it. It's great. The Empire was conceived as one of several sequels to Star Wars, carrying the intergalactic conflict forward to a cliff-hanging stalemate before others jump it back in time. The $25 million George Lucas production features some new characters as well as most of the old, pitting the rebels against the Imperial forces in battles on an ice planet, in an asteroid field, and on a swampy satellite. Finally, the symbols of good and evil clash again when Luke Skywalker crosses laser swords with Darth Vader. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Although the critics are disappointed, consumers looking for an escape into fantasy this summer will have the last word. Left me confused. <laughs> Didn't understand any of it. Special effects were tremendous. Really enjoyed it. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. I didn't like the ending. It could have been a better ending. It's a nice beginning to a new religion. It was fantastic. I like that. Force be with you. The big question mark is whether the Force is still strong enough to make the Empire successful as Star Wars. If not, the future of the whole series could be lost in space. Gene Cubison, News 8, East San Diego.